We had put fence up for a 600 acre property and I was talking to the owner when I was there on a, on a visit afterwards and he said that they had put some exotic animals in. There were some African animals that were very expensive and they hadn't seen them since. They caught one on a game camera but the other one they hadn't seen and it had been a couple of months. So I started thinking how interesting it is to be able to see the animals when you come in and kind of know where they are. And so uh, we talked about developing a front pasture concept where inside of your lodge or your house or wherever you hang out, just to have an area where you can have exotic animals and see the, uh, the young born, the cycle of life, see different species interacting. And there are a number of species that actually work in a low fence. And I think if you're going to have a fenced enclosure near your house, you probably, you, you might not want to have a high fence. So this is an example of something that's low. We've got a number of animals, some are extinct even. Uh, interesting to see oryx from Arabia, from Africa. Uh, so scimitar oryx, we've got black buck originally from India. Pure David deer that are originally from China, all extinct. Uh, Rhea that are from South America, they're very interesting and we've been able to watch them have offspring. Watch the young, some of the babies are just amazing to watch and to watch the interaction and so um, just by putting an enclosure in, typically we'll have, try to have water inside the enclosure, a pond, a lake, and then it might be on the drive on the way into the property so that visitors can see it. And then if you're having family or other guests over that you can always see it. And it's not like my friend who put the animals out on his 600 acre place never to be seen again. So this is, has really been a source of a lot of pleasure on a number of ranches that we've done this concept on. All this really takes is to put a low fence with the right mesh, which there are a number of different meshes that we can use. The one here in the foreground is actually black, which is nice. It looks, it looks a lot better in our opinion. It looks more elegant. It kind of goes away. Um, and we put a predator barrier around it. And so that's really all it takes. It's, it's as simple as that.